What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorps, and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell, buy my soul tab, I super duper appreciate the same, same, same. If you want to be notified for future readings and you enjoy my content, um, you can smash the sub button. Just for real, for real, for real. I know it, it looks like a little blurry in here, uh, but I have the sage going, so um, just let you know. So, sorry. Um, I got two channeled in. This is I'm a little behind um, for my sign readings because um, I've been going, um, had a lot to do in the 3D realm recently. So it's put me a little behind, but I'm going to catch myself back up. So right now, this is for week two of November of 2021 for sign of Scorpio. This is Corazon AKF Scorpio, any aspects of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not fly, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Um, I only take the messages that resonate. I got two channeled in, in as I was meditating on your energy. The first one I heard free will decision, um, decisions. So two or more free will decisions. And the second one I heard a Scorpio is about to offer something to someone they never thought they would. So, um, so some kind of free will decisions. So you're either making these free will decisions decisions two or more decisions or someone you're connected to it's a free will decision so they're making it on their own free will they're not being bullied or harassed or talked into it they free willingly are making this decision you or somebody you're connected to and um you're about to offer something to someone you never thought you would it can be based on this free will decisions or not you plug it in how that resonates if that resonates for you Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. You are. I appreciate every single like, subscribe, share, dislike, and um, donation to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's high priestess row five. The links in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. Ace of Swords reversed. Empress reversed. A particular feminine energy has been covering up, covering up the fact they have been using drugs. For some of these feminine energies, it will come out in a lab test. Some pregnancy, some employment. Okay, so you plug in how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, I heard... It sounds like it's two or more fem energies in the universe. It doesn't sound like it's you. It sounds like it's somebody you're connected to. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but somebody, it's a fem energy or a masculine that takes on a lot of fem energy, how that plugs in your life. But I heard they've been covering up the fact they've been using drugs. Um, so I'm assuming at least illicit drugs or narcotics or something of that nature. Um, I heard for some, it's going to come out in a pregnancy um, lab work and for some in um, uh, drug, drug screening. Uh, employment drug screening is what it sounds like um you plug it in how it resonates so you could be their boss you could be a co-worker you could be hr if you are in the employment sector with these people because i don't feel it's you i feel somebody you're connected to or you could be the baby daddy or a spouse or a part committed partner or a family member or a neighbor or a fr friend or whoever that's connected to them on the side of the pregnancy side you plug it in how it resonates, or you could be a social worker. You'd be a social worker or a case manager or something of that nature, or a nurse, a nurse or something of that nature, or a doctor um, on the pregnancy side. Um, but I heard they were hiding the fact they were doing drugs. But it's about, I mean, it's about to be made, the the pregnancy test with the lab results, lab work, and the um, or the employment drug screening is going to, show the true truth of this so they were this is them lying about the not um doing drugs but it's going to be found out anyways um through lab work and then this is them the um some they're pregnant some they're not some they have a job and um they're about to be found out through drug screening is what it sounds like for some they're pregnant and they're about to be found out that way so empress reversed not motherly not motherly not loving not um um Doing drugs behind your back energy, basically. However, you plug into this um, either pregnant or person that is hiding drug use in an employment sector energy. Hey, Lee Molly. 
that could be the free will decision as well. They free will free willingly chose to do these drugs and now they're going to have consequences. This is, I'm not feeling this is your energy Scorpio. I do not. I feel this is somebody you're connected to. I feel for some you're, um, you are going to be connected to maybe firing them. I feel for some you might be HR and you're going to be connected to firing them. And I'm serious about that. Um, or you could be a baby daddy or a committed partner. And um, you're going to be like, what the hell, man? You're putting the child's um, life at risk. Um, just saying, just saying. Spirit messages you have signed for you. Queen of Swords reverse, Seven of Wands reverse. A particular feminine energy has really been lying to a Scorpio. Hugely. Some about documentation of important documents, deeds and vehicles. Some about third parties. So about fourth parties. You are about to call this person out in a huge way. Oh my God. You plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, so you've got heavy femme energy in here. Either heavy, heavy femme energy or heavy masculine or masculine with heavy femme. However, that res resonates in your life. But um, Fem energy has been lying to you. They've been lying to you, man. This is the fem energy lying to you. I heard some about documentation of important um, things like property uh, deeds and um, what was it? Deeds and um, something else. It sounded like it was forgery of deeds and um, oh, vehicles, vehicles. So they have forged uh, names on some kind of deed like a property deed or a home deed or some kind of vehicle. Um, and they've been lying to you in a huge way. Um, for some, it is, I feel it's that pregnancy, drug pregnancy energy, it could be possibly. But I heard you're about to call them out in a huge way. So this is you calling them out and they're not going to be able to defend or stand up for themselves because you're going to be calling them out because they've been lying to you, basically. Um, it sounds like you're about to discover this. Um, you could be an insurance adjuster. You could be a um, spouse. You could be a committed partner. You could be a baby daddy. You could be uh, a spouse. I already said that. Um, you could be an investigator. But you are about to call this person out in a huge freaking way, man. It's a femme energy or a masculine takes on a lot of them. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But they're not going to be able to defend themselves because you're going to you're about to uncover these lies. These are the lies you're about to uncover. Oh, what? All right, let's pull your Oracle card. Sorry, my nose is running. Actually, I feel guided to get the tea leaves. We'll get some tea leaves. Spirit messages you have for me. Okay. Funnel, periods of frustration, lessons to be learned, wealth.
Lots of truth is about to be exposed to a Scorpio. Lots. So much so, they're going to be overwhelmed. Heavy feminine energy with the truth being exposed. Some partners, some situationships, some family, some family you're connected to. You're going to be very frustrated. But let it be lessons. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard um, lots of truth is about to come out. You've got heavy, heavy, heavy fem energy in here all day long. Uh, all day long. Heavy fem. Heavy fem. But not good fem energy. Very, very low, low vibrational fem energy. You're going to be very, very frustrated with these fem energies. For some, it is a lover. For some, it's a third party, third or fourth or fifth party situation ship as energy um, of yours that it feels like. For some, it is your family. For some, it is um, family you're connected to. I heard it's going to frustrate you um, a lot, but it's good to learn from the lessons. So, you know, cutting the people out if you need to cut them out. Uh, block them off your phone if you have to block them off. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Make sure my neighbor was getting his vehicle. His alarm's going off. Um, but yeah, I heard, um, and that could be confirmation. My, um, neighbor's, uh, truck alarm going off could be confirmation. Um, alarm, alarm, alert, alert, alert. These same energies are low vibrational. They're bad news bears, basically. Just, just saying, just saying, um, to me, that's confirmation in the reading. Everything happens in the reading happens for a reason. You're going to be very frustrated, but let it, let it be a lesson to be learned, basically. That's what I'm gathering from this. Well, a Scorpio has cut off a feminine energy in the past to let them build their own financial freedom. It's good to cut them off and let them do it themselves. Keep building your stash. Okay, so you plug in, if that resonates with you, I heard a Scorp says cut off of them energy in the past. Feeling for some, it could be this person. For some, it could be this person. For some of you guys, the them energies that are pregnant, they may be pregnant by you. They may be pregnant by somebody else because some of you guys have third, fourth, or fifth party S type energies in here, situationships. So, you know, the lab test, part of that could be confirming whether you're the dad or not if you are masculine energy. Um, for some, um, on top of the drugs, possibly. Because when you're pregnant, you get a whole slew of lab tests from um, the hospital and from um, the lab work and from the clinic and things of that nature. Trust me, I've been pregnant. Um, I've had two children. I know, I mean, I know how it rolls. It's been a while, but I know how it rolls. Um, so for some, it could be confirming whether you're actually the father or not, if you are a masculine energy that plugs into that. But you've cut off a femme energy in the past, whether you're masculine or femme, you've cut off a femme energy in the past financially. I heard to let them build their own financial wealth. Um, so you've cut them off, you were giving them money either for sex or you felt like you had to because you were dating them or in a committed relationship or et cetera, et cetera. But you've learned lessons and you've cut them off because I think they were just draining you financially. Um, but I've heard it's good to let them keep building their own, let them learn their lessons, let them um, build their own wealth because um, whoever this is for, I feel they were just draining you financially, but I heard you keep building your own stash. So you keep making good financial decisions. You keep um, doing what you need to do, basically, financially. Some are about to come into an inheritance soon. Some are about to help uncover a stolen inheritance from someone else. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So for some of you guys, you're about to come into an inheritance soon. So wealth card, you're about to come into an inheritance. Congrats to you. That can be money, property, or properties, or vehicle, or et cetera, et cetera. And for some of you guys, you're about to help uncover a stolen inheritance from someone else. So you're about to uncover the fact that someone was had their inheritance stolen from them. Um, so you plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. 
All right, you guys, we're done. I hope this helped for real, for real, for real. Um, everybody make wonderful choices, and I hope this helped, and namaste.